Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? Yes, you're I, live on I, Facebook. Yeah, I see that. All right, yes. good. Technology, you know, these crazy. times. Um, I love your outfit today. Thank you very much. You're rocking the boots. It all coordinates. It's all black. It is? Yeah. So, Desierto, and you're the, the, the mean guy in this movie. Were you a little hesitant or when you were talked about this, uh, you know, the character that you were going to portray, the vigilante, the mean guy? I don't uh, No, There was no hesitation to be the the bad guy in this piece because uh, I really trusted Jonas and kind of his vision and and as an actor you know uh, it's about doing different things and and I kind of at the time we shot this film which was now three years ago I don't have a lot of bad guys under my belt at that time and mm -hmm. I sort of uh, relished the, the challenge of doing something a little bit different and Sam is about as bad as they can get, you know. Um, and I thought there was a, a big challenge in not only being the bad guy, but being the bad guy that doesn't do a lot of explaining on why he's that way, you know. I'm, the only talking I really do in this film is to a dog. Um, so you don't know a lot about Sam. And so trying to translate that story, I think, to a viewer was an interesting challenge that I, I very much look forward to, so. Are you a migrant yourself, immigrant yourself, your family? Any? Uh, you know, I was European descent, um, so probably way back in the day, yeah. My family comes uh, from from Welsh Irish, so so uh, I, I've never done my genealogy far enough back. I, you know, I go back as far as my grandpa, who I knew. So, mm -hmm. so three years ago, when you were shooting this movie, you had no idea that all this stuff was going to happen like Donald no. Trump, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. I would say a circus. What's, uh, it's a circus is a very nice way of putting it, I think. Um, no, we we were out to make a, a, a thriller, a kind of a horror thriller film that would take a viewer on a, on a ride of a man versus man in a desolate landscape kind of thing. And now, of course, uh, because of the idiot that is Donald Trump. It is this hot button issue and, and uh, much more relevant than, than uh, we could have ever foreseen. Yeah. Do you think your character kind of reflects a hatred or in a way Donald Trump? I think absolutely. I think, um, I think this is a character that would uh, find Donald Trump to be his guy. Uh, unfortunately, Donald Trump also will look at this character and think it's his guy. Uh, which is mortifying. I, and I, I just find it, uh, it's shocking that we're having this conversation, you know what I mean? That this has to be such a, uh, I'm not getting to talk about this movie near as much as I get to now talk about my political views, which kind of have always remained in my pocket. Uh, I, I never wanted to get involved in any of this kind of thing. Uh, and, and, but I, I, I'm so, mortified and embarrassed that uh, we're in the place that we are now where we are listening to uh, someone like Donald Trump. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing and, and you know you hope that someone sees Desierto and can maybe learn something from it. I don't know. I, you know who knows? But you know uh, look if it brings to the forefront kind of the topic of Immigrants and, and specifically um, uh, Mexican immigrants, you know, they're not uh, murderers and rapists and drug dealers, you know These are people that are trying to get into America to make a better life for themselves and and uh, or for their families and, and it's sad that we have to talk about it. It seems pretty it seems pretty obvious to to me um, but you know, there's there's people that, that believe this, that uh, that can sympathize with the character I play, and and for those people, including Donald Trump, fuck you. That's the perfect <laughs> ending. <laughs>